We're into our back training today with Linda Murray, four-time Miss Olympia champion. All right, let's do it. Okay. Start off the the first exercise down. we're going to be training with is lat pull down to the rear. Okay, Linda. All right, what you're going to notice on this exercise is we're working right in here, the V taper, the middle portion of the back, as she pulls it down to the rear of her neck. Now, you can also do this to the front, but she's choosing to do it to the rear this time. That's it. Great. Let's pull down. Yeah, this is giving the person that all-important V taper. Everybody is after that V taper. This is the exercise that will do it. For what you're going to notice is a variation in the grip as well, depending on how wide you are and how tall you are, good. and how long your arms are. All the way. A good medium width grip is good. Right. Come on, two more. That's it. Squeezing it at the bottom and stretching it at the top. Right. Important. Great. All right, good job. Woo. Up in there. Some weight on there. Come on. We're going to let Warrior. Train back. Warrior's okay. going to lead us into this one. Porter is known for his back back in the days when he was competing in the Mr. Universe and the Mr. Olympia. And yet, as he developed his back, it never came down. So that's one thing about bodybuilding is that once you've developed the muscle, the body remembers. It doesn't go away. It shrinks, but you can keep that V taper in the sweep as long as you continue to exercise. Come on. All right. Porter's going to pull it to the front. It's going to work just a little bit different, but most of all, it's a matter of comfortability. Some people prefer to do it to the rear, others to the front. What I like about this is that he has such control. A lot of times I see people do this exercise and they love to swing. It's like they pull the weight and they're using... More of the arms. Yeah, arms and legs and everything else. What you're going to find on. is you're going to cheat just a little bit as the weight increases. Yeah. So uh, it's important to try to keep good form. Good. Feel it in Excellent. the back. Come on. Big back. Uh, yes. All right, you're on some lot of weight. <laughs> Ray Sean. Okay. I'm going to use my straps. My grip's pretty weak. You notice that Sean's arms are not actually short. You know, he's just standing on the seat. For... <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna go to the rear. Come on. Okay, Sean is going to lat pull down pull. to the rear. You can see as he does the exercise, not only yes. affects the lats of the V taper, but also the rear deltoids Ooh. and trapezius as well. Notice the thickness in the middle part of his back. Come on, come on, That's Sean. it, Sean. Good. Come on, pull. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, Sean, you got down. it. Come on. That's it. Great. Pull. Yes. Pull. All right. Okay, what's Way to next, Linda? Well, let's see what's next. One arm dumbbell. Okay, great. Rose. One of my favorites. I didn't realize I was using the same weight to the rear as you were to the front. Okay. Okay, now this is more of an isolation move once again. Whenever you start using only one uh, arm at a time, you're, you're concentrating on isolation. All right. This exercise here not only affects the lat, as you can see, but also the rear deltoid area, and in particular the upper back, the trapezius area. Yeah, so it works more than just the back. You can see it really in her oh, deltoid definitely. as it, she comes up to the top. Also, you can see she's really getting a great range of motion as well, all the way up, all the way down. It's really important in a down position to get that stretch, which works the lat in the lower area. Without a back on stage, you're like dead in the water. Oh, that's a very important body part because it's such a big area of the body. Right. Come on. Up it up. I have a tendency to uh, look down as I perform this exercise. When I bring my head up, okay. I'm side. bringing my shoulders up. That's it. Good. Again, she performs the same exercise, but this time to the right side. Great. It's a good stretch at the bottom. If you are going to have your head up, try to keep your eyes on an even plane so that you don't swing the weight up. That's it. Again, control is the key here. Come on, Linda. Great. As it gets heavier, you're going to might want to implement the wrist wraps. Right. You'll right. notice that Sean and I both have wrist straps on, which I think are important when you're using a heavy weight. Sure. Let's pack okay. on the pounds then. Show me what you got. Come on. This is going to add middle back thickness. And also, if you're talking about trying to bring the lats down lower, this is one of the exercises that's going to help you by over accentuating the stretch. Come on, boy. All right, a lot of people, uh, Linda, when they're on stage, they don't stand wide enough. I mean, the muscle's there, right. but they don't stand wide enough. This also helps bring out that width. Oh, yeah, it does. It really does. It's nice, too, because he's kind of keeping... Sometimes I see people do this movement, and they like to really Swing it back. rotate a little bit too much. You kind of want to think about if you were doing bent over rolls with the barbell, you know, so the back is doing the work. Keep it on the plane. Right. Okay, I'll get you. All right. This Come is 100 on. pounds. I know uh, uh, Come on. we need some bigger dumbbells if we're actually going to get bigger, but progressively you want to increase your resistance as far as adding strength and mass. You guys just trying to, you don't want to make me look bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Stretch. Come on, boy. The main thing Excellent. is to keep good form and you will alleviate any kinds of injuries. Yes. Do you Woo. also do these standing, freestanding off of a bench, or do you only do them on a bench and your knee up? 
Well, I have tried it the other way, but usually I prefer With the using the bench. Okay. I do. It gives me a lot I of think, control. I think the bench just adds a little support to the lower back. It yeah. makes it a little easier to do. Yeah. Right. Well, I'll show the okay, variation. Sean. I'll show the variation. Okay, let's see it, Sean. Which Come is the on. Knee off the bench. Right here. Let's see. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that's excellent. That's it, good. So that's how you that, get that big back. <laughs> you notice that Sean does it with a little faster momentum than I do. It's basically whatever speed that feels comfortable to you. Uh, yeah, it's that's about it. rhythm. What's this Come here? on. Okay, good. This exercise to me is a very basic, a must exercise for the back. But I tell you what, it's so hard. It's just as hard as doing squats. It yes. really makes you breathe. You're right, it does. It really does make you breathe. That's it, Sean. Come on. Because you're doing double work, too. Exactly. You have to do each each side of that body. That's it. Cool. Come, on. Come on. Come on. Good. All right. Woo. Okay. <laughs> that stretch. Okay, Linda, what's next? Here we go. Cable rows, cable my rows. favorite. Yeah. Good. Okay, put some weight on here for me. Oh, cable man, rows are breathe. serious weight. I'm sure this is a good way to finish it up. The cable rows, uh... What you want to do again, it's like rowing a boat, isn't it? Yeah. Full stretch, squeeze Full it into stretch. the rib cage. This particular exercise also not only works the middle part of the back, but also actually into the lower area, the rumble. That's Christmas tree. Right. Ooh. That's it, Linda. Good. Now notice Linda's throwing her chest forward and keeping her back erect. That's bringing these middle back muscles into play. That's it. Good. Come on, Linda.